Good evening and a warm welcome to Empowering You for Victory. Moyen and I send our fondest love greetings to every one of you. Tonight, we're going to do something clinically, but I want to speak to you on faith to reconstruct your own thinking patterns. Faith to reconstruct your own thinking patterns. I want to read from 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 to verse 6. We closed last night with these scriptures. For the weapons of our warfare, this is warfare, friends, are not carnal, they're not natural, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ and having a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. You take note that the first thing that the Word of God is saying about this warfare, which is taking place in the arena of your mind, in the arena of your thinking, is number one, the strongholds. What is a stronghold? A stronghold is a castle of thoughts that are now holding you captive to think from within those castle, that castle of thoughts. I'm going to repeat that. A stronghold is a castle of thoughts in your mind that hold you captive for you to think only from within that castle of thoughts, then casting down imaginations. Imaginations is pictures in your mind. Now we shared with you that Einstein, Albert Einstein said, imagination is more powerful than knowledge. Think about that. Why? Because a thousand words equals one picture. Once you have pictures in your mind of negativity and failure, then it's going to affect your life. You've got to cast that down. And then you've got to cast down knowledge in your mind that is contrary to the Word of God or contrary to the knowledge of the principles of success. And you bring every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. That means you've got to be a policeman of your thoughts. You're a watchman of your thoughts. The clinical exercise that I want to do with you today, you're going to have to answer some questions. There's a form that's coming up on your screen. You can download this form and you can do this exercise at your leisure. But I will go through it with you. And then if you want to, when you do it, you can replay this 10 minute clip. It will help you because you can put a pause button and answer each of these four questions. Now you will find that the answers to these questions is N stands for never, S stands for sometimes, and A for always. Now if it's never, the the, the score will be no, naught. If it's between never and sometimes, it'll be one. If it's sometimes, then it's two. If it's between sometimes and always, it'll be three. And if it is always, then it'll be four. I want to encourage you. This is self-analysis. You are scoring yourself. No one has to see this. You are reconstructing your own way of thinking. And so you must be brutally honest with yourself when you answer this. So the first question is, am I able to stand apart from my thoughts and feelings and examine them and change them? Think about this. Whatever you're thinking about, 
with whatever is happening in your life. Are you able? Do you practice this? Are you able to pull yourself away from the way you think? Pull yourself away from the way you feel? and change the way you think and the way you feel. Is it never? Is it sometimes? Is it always? Write your answer there. The second question. Am I aware, am I aware of the way I think about things and the impact it has on my attitudes and behaviors and the results I'm getting in my life. Are you aware of the way you think about things and the impact it has on your attitudes, attitudes and behaviors and the result? Attitudes, a way of thinking. Results, your behavior and your results. Are you aware of that when you stand apart from your thoughts? Third question. Am I aware of a difference between my biological, genealogical, sociological scriptings and my own deep inner thoughts? Everyone have, has been scripted biologically, genealogically, sociologically. So you have scriptings in your mind, in your unconscious mind. Are you aware of those different scriptings and then also the difference between those scriptings and your own inner thoughts? That means you have scriptings and the way you think. Are you aware that there is a difference between that in you? You fill in your answer. Then number four. When the response of other people to me or something I do Challenges the way I see myself. Am I able to evaluate that feedback against deep personal knowledge and learn from it? Now repeat it. When the response of other people to me or something I do, when somebody challenges you, or what you are doing, do you immediately put up a guard, get angry, react, or do you take that and use it and evaluate your life against deep personal knowledge and learn from it? You must answer that. If it's never, it's not. But sometimes it's two, if it's always, it's four. If it's in between, it will be one or, or three. Well, dear friends, our time is running away with us again. I want to encourage you to go over this session because just being aware of those differences and you know that you are looking at your thoughts and you're looking at your feelings and you're looking at your actions, that alone shows you that you are not your thoughts. While you think those thoughts, you are not those thoughts. You have to see how you use your mind. It's just like how you use a computer. You are not your thoughts. You are not your feelings, therefore you can change them anytime you want to. And you can change your feelings if you change your thoughts. If you change your thoughts and your feelings, you'll change your actions. If you change your actions, 
you will change the results you're getting in your life. If you keep doing what you've always been doing, you will always get what you've always been getting. You must change how you've been thinking and feeling and acting to change the results you've been getting. God richly bless you. Allow me to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you today for all our online viewers. Thank you, Lord. We are discovering who we are. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. And Lord, we thank you that we are not our minds, we are not our feelings, and we are not our actions. We can look at our thoughts and feelings and actions and change them. Lord, I pray that each one of our online viewers will become skilled in how to manage their thinking to bring them to a place of optimal success in their lives. I bless them now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Goodbye. God richly bless you. I'll see you tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Bye.